Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest here again, Mr. Gary Schmidt. Gary Smith. <laughs> and you are, you are in, where are you? Give us a quick overview. I'm at the Military World Championship, SISM, in a, a small place called Gussing in Austria. In Austria. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, you say it's hot there. It's very hot and, you know, it's one of those where there's very, very little wind, super hot and we're sitting in military tents. I'm going to flip the screen here yeah, and, uh, and show you a little bit. I mean, here's, here's the, the basic, the military tents going around here, super hot, obviously some Red Bull with Austria, big Red Bull sponsorship. And, uh, and obviously each nation has their, their, their own tents. But it's pretty brutal, I have to be honest. It's tough. You've got to be, you know, super fit to be out here. It's, it's hot. It's long, long, long days. They, you, you start at 7.30 in the morning. You have to be here. And they, they keep you until sometimes 8 p.m. at night. But there's a helicopter up there. They're doing accuracy, female accuracy right now, round seven completed. And they're starting round eight. And the male, the formation skydiving for today is finished. So it's the first day we've kind of been released. But a lot of these competitors... It's two competitors here, man. They do style, they do accuracy, and they do four-way. So here you have the Moroccan ladies team in front of me, packing. Just landed from accuracy around seven, and they're going to go up. The French female also doing really good. Moroccan also fighting for uh, first, second, third. So it's interesting. And down there, I don't know if you can see, that's the accuracy landing. It's always big and sism, a lot of people. Small helicopter takes five and very quick. It's up and down. It drops one team. And by the time they land it, it's picked up the others and it's, it's up again. It's very, very fast. And I'm not sure which team this one is. It. Accuracy, there's an accuracy. Is actually it's actually fun to watch. I like to watch accuracy. because it's You know what? I'm, I'm going to give you, they've just had the men's final maybe an hour ago. And the place has changed. Jimmy was ahead. They stayed ahead. But the Czech Republic were fifth, and they had a very good last round, and they went from fifth to fourth to third to second as the other teams came in because the conditions had changed. Like now, if you look at that windsock, there's a bit of wind. It's a little bit easier for the accuracy. But at that time and moment, Czech had a little bit of wind, and then it stopped. It died down. It actually even changed. So it was hot thermals, and people were struggling. So, And, and then again, when Germany jumped... They, they are kings. I mean, the Germans are superb athletes. I wish I could show you these guys. And uh, they landed. They celebrated their, their victory, their gold medal in team. And then straight away they went, they, they got into a chopper and they went off and they did style on another drop zone. It was unbelievable. But yeah. they, I mean, they're young, they fit. Yeah. But I'm going to slowly, I'm going to slowly walk back to the tent here. Yeah? Uh, here's po uh, the Polish girls that just landed from their accuracy. Yeah. Spanish, Spanish girls packing, Spanish hey, flag. You, usually we um, usually we only um, we cover this kind of scenario. Um, it reminds me so on the on the FAI Tanai Mundial where we did a similar thing um, for us, but it was a world championship um, of formation skydiving. Uh, yes. And, yes. Uh, and this year is a season championship, so which is, which is a world championship too. But I guess we have good reasons uh, to give it a little bit more attention this year. Yes. Uh, hang on, I have a guy shouting in my ear, the loudspeaker. Yeah. Uh, take your time. You know, I, I see you're getting close. You tend to get comfortable again, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting sunburned. My, my yeah, red skin exactly. is getting redder. <laughs> How hot is it? Like, what is it in? I think, in... I mean, I, I think they forecast like 34, 35 degrees, but when you sit in here, there's oh. no air, man. So I, I'm, oh. I'm guessing it's going into like in this tent, in this military tent here. Hey, it's cooking, man. You know, yeah. so I, I, I'm dealing with close to like high 30s in, in here, maybe even 40s. It's difficult. It's, it's, you know, to, when you come out in the morning, you feel okay, but already at about 8, 8.30, you feel the heat of, of the sun. But uh, anyway, I mean, it's the same for everybody, so we have to survive. Yeah, it's like Florida. <laughs> Florida yeah, almost exactly. Florida in the summer. 
Yeah. Well, Gary, well, again, thank you very much. So, but um, we have a good reason, um, you know, I, uh, to be interested in, in this SISM World Championship. You know, I, I mean, I've reported this for years um, anyway, because, you know, Hayabusa and, and the Qatar Tigers um, have been participating um, on a regular basis in the past years. Um, and this year, it seems to be even more exciting for because the World Championship is coming up soon, you know, in Eloy. And yeah. the, the Qatar Tigers want to win and Hayabusa want to try to defend the title. Yeah. No, it, it's going to be interesting times, man. Um, unfortunately, uh, I mean, Qatar are jumping good. They had one bad jump, the round four. It had a block 10 in it. It was not their, their day, their jump. Um, but they managed, like, on the first round, they were only one point behind Hayabusa. Although Hayabusa did have some video, they lost a couple of seconds on the start um, out of the, the helicopter. The video man was not there, and they waited for him, and then they went. So I think they lost a couple of seconds there. But mm. it's great for Qatar to know that they can match them. And unfortunately, they had a, Qatar had a good round five, not the best four finishes. And of course, Dennis and Hayabusa are very, very strong on block four. And that gets them through the next random. So they lost uh, on today's round. Although Qatar landed and they said, oh, that felt better. Um, Hayabusa landed and said, well, that was our best jump until now. You know, so it was it was a pity that uh, it was one of those that Hayabusa got another four points on them. The next jump has got block 14 in it. It's good for Hayabusa. It's not great for Qatar. They're not as consistent as they should be on block 14. But then the last two, block 11 and 17, I'm confident for Qatar. They're strong with those two blocks. So if they, they, their random work is right up there with Hayabusa. Hayabusa is just a bit cleaner on the randoms. The Qatari, we spoke about grip management, grip presentation is costing them at the speed. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with where they are and the fact that they can challenge. I mean, even with Dave and the team, they have done training and you've got four world champions in, in that team of Hayabusa. So the fact that they can keep it tight is okay. Unfortunately, now, yes, Hayabusa has got away. The chance for Qatar to beat Hayabusa is very little. You need something disastrous to happen. And that's not going to happen with, with that team. There's too much experience in, in Hayabusa. But then this is only a foreplay for the world meet because then things will look better for the Tigers again because Hayabusa will go to the new lineup. Exactly. So Neil will come back um, and so Neil will come back and they have to train with him. And of course, there's talk that they could, Hayabusa could keep Dave in. And, and could they challenge airspeed or not? I don't think so, personally. I know they'll be good. They'll be better with Dave and the team. It'll give Tigers a harder run for their money. But that's not the plan for Hayabusa. And, and I respect them for that. I mean, um, in the sense that they said, hey, this is the plan. We need to give Neil a chance. We need to give him a world beat experience before we take him to his first one and, and expect uh, he's going to do it, you know. So right now, as far as I know, they will stick with that plan, that Neil will come in and, and jump. And it's going to be tough for him. It's going to be tough for them because they have to arrive in Arizona, the home of airspeed. Airspeed is going to be super, super strong. I'm impressed with the jumps that I've seen from uh, airspeed. Um, and and unfortunately, they're going to walk away with it. I don't think there's anybody that can challenge them. Qatar, for sure not. We will not challenge them. And Hayabusa, with the change, will not challenge them. So, unfortunately, I feel sorry for Airspeed because no team wants to win, uh, you know, after five rounds. You're so far ahead. It's going to be one of those that they think, well, no one's really interested. And I, it's, not, it's not fair to them because they work harder. And I wish there was a fight for them. But be that as it may. Between, between Hayabusa and Qatar, it might become very interesting with Neil, depending on how quick Neil picks up. They're going to try and make 300 jumps with Neil from now until, until the world meet. Well, you've seen that all makes complete sense and it's good for the Tigers. I'm happy for them that they may have a chance in this scenario you know, to, to get close, closer to Hayabusa at least. Um, yes, but you have seen? Did you did you see the airspeed uh, jumps already? No, I couldn't download them, and okay. and I, I mean I went to your site; they weren't there. And I have to go to YouTube and find them. Apparently, but where I, where I was in the building, the internet was not strong enough for me to see them. Okay. So okay. I haven't seen them. I saw I saw Dave at at uh, lunch right now, Dave Hayabusa, and he he had apparently seen them. 
and and he said they look they look good. But I mean, uh, on, on that side, I, I would expect no less. Uh, no less, you know. Yes. I mean, the, the the only thing that I would go with, the, if we had to go score by score, it's different conditions. Man, you come and sit here and do zero jumps in a day, and then one jump right at the end of the day in the heat and out of a helicopter. It's different conditions, but that takes nothing away from uh, the, the for me the um, the air speed performance. You know, I think if they were here, they would perform the same. But I'll have um, I'll have um, the videos and the scores uh, posted today, so you know maybe there would be a place where there's uh, the reception good enough, and you can take a look at it and comment yeah, yeah. a little bit. I would be very curious. So yeah. let's say let's just speculate now. After you watch the jumps, I'm really curious, and also you know what Hayabusa's reactions is, are going to. Let's just assume that Hayabusa is closer to airspeed as they may have thought they are at this point yeah. in time. Well, Would they seriously consider to, <laughs> to continue? Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely talk in the higher or key in the military. That's for sure. Because okay. obviously I, I have a link and a contact with the bosses up there as well. And <laughs> for them, for them, that's, there's no choice. That's what they want. But I think it ultimately it depends on the team and the bosses do respect uh, the decision of, of the team. But no, I mean, I, I must be honest. I think um, Hayabusa now with Dave in it, they have trained. They've trained SISM. And they did they did do some uh, jumps, and in fact, quite a few, with Dave uh, in slot so Mikey could get better at the outside center. They had a little bit of weather issues, so they were a little bit behind on their training jump numbers that they wanted. But Mikey, for sure, has he started to look more and more comfortable in the outside center slot. I think that was good. They have got stronger Mikey and Dennis as a front pair due to Dave being in that slot. Um, and then, it, and then it's a case of now they need to do some B slot training with Neil and uh, and Bob in that position, and of course Mikey and and uh, Dennis. So I, I think if you kept Dave in, yes, they would be stronger. But could they challenge airspeed on an FAI draw? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's too many combinations that they would be short of airspeed's continuity and confidence in randoms. They can take everything where Hayabusa would probably be going, we haven't trained enough. You know, we're a bit limited in all we can do but on on if you add any blocks like two blocks and keep it with three randoms with a star of course anyone any i mean uh, you must look at these koreans you must look at some of the female jumps some of these teams can fly they just uh, of course lacking a bit of coaching and and then of course jump numbers that they do way less because they also train accuracy and style here the germans the germans are incredible super athletes they can fly very very fast But they don't, the fo main focus is not formation scatter. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, I mean, that all makes total sense, of course. You say so well. Um, it would just be kind of interesting, you know, a lot of stuff to speculate about, a lot of stuff to think about. Yeah, yeah. And makes it just more interesting. But we'll see. I guess we're going to talk again after, um, after the S speed. Um, footage is, is available and you know and, and can be seen easily yeah yeah I'm, I'm looking forward i'm looking forward to seeing it uh, to be honest it, it would be great to see and i mean i can time it myself um and and check where they are but i mean i cannot imagine them losing to hayabusa hayabusa had troubles on the first jump with a bit of video and of course it's in your mind you, you're looking in your video man's uh, flat or below you and he has to come back up a little bit or he's, he's rolled over in fact and he got back though And they had, but they waited, they lost time. And then the second jump with 22 um, was quite rough finishes, they said, but it, it was not a bad uh, jump. Um, the, third, the third jump had 21 in it and they picked up three busts uh, on, on, that, on that jump. The, the judging, I must be honest here, yeah, has been very good, but very, very strict. Anything of a hand over or a slip, they busted. And I mean, I, I even with Qatar, I never saw one bus. And I did a query. I said, where do you see it? And it was a hand underneath the knee. And when I came back and I asked the guy, it was, I didn't have the grip properly. It was kind of, I thought I had it was kind of underneath the, the knee. So they, they shot. They, they're really, really impressive, to be honest with you. Because normally with military, it's the other way around. Everything gets by. But uh, here they've been very, very sharp. 
And then on, on round four yesterday was block 10. Um, there was one 10 finish from Hayabusa that wasn't great, but the jump was okay. They took everything standard. There is a quicker uh, engineering. And then today they landed for the first time and they said this was their best jump. This, uh, the four, the best feeling of the jump. So, so um, that would be great, actually. Sorry. Sorry. No, I, I was just saying, I, I can't see airspeed being behind this because, I, you know, I put airspeed no. way up there. No, uh, yeah. I, I think, I think airspeed, um, the airspeed now is starting to look for me closer and closer to, I told them, to the old Hayabusa. You know, they're going mm -hmm. into that category and it's almost on the, on the edge of it's untouchable. So you give them randoms with a star uh, and, and, and a block. It's going to be hard to, you know. Well, it's going to be hard. Um, amateurish observations, they are, they are not ahead, but you know, we, I, I leave this up to you. So it would be great yeah, actually yeah. if you if you um, once the videos out there that you could also take a look from the judge's position in Austria, because you know who, yeah. whoever looks at the the SV jumps and they do it by themselves. You know, whoever else is watching it. Yeah, but you have yeah. to watch it from the perspective of the judges in Austria to compare the apples with apples, you yeah. know, obviously. And, and, and to be honest with you, the SISM rules, I mean, Urata is here as a judge, as, as a chief judge. I, I think the SISM rules allow them to do what they want. They can watch everything in slow motion, where they want, how they want. I think, I might be wrong, talking out of turn, because I, I've been impressed with how sharp they are. Dirk's here. Um, there's, there's a couple of good judges here and, and I think if you can watch everything in slow motion it's stricter but you know at the end of the day here for this meet it's the same for everybody well the, I think the best to do is really uh, um, take a look uh, whenever there's the opportunity I know that ESBIT is doing the second set of the remaining four rounds they're doing that today um, yeah. so and then, uh, and at the end, uh, we'll have a debriefing, probably um, a little bit more comprehensive yeah. when when we have f uh, completed all eight rounds. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what what is the link? Where would I find it? Because I looked on your website, I didn't see it before I got on. It, there. No, it's not on the website yet. I it, uh, I have uploaded it to YouTube already. So the the, the okay. YouTube channel of Skyleague.com, the yeah, NSL okay. has it already up there. And, uh, yeah. so well, we, we, we have good internet here. Most people are leaving the drop zone. It's it's Sunday. They're going to stop at midday, which is now. Um, so maybe that's why the internet's a bit stronger. Yeah. Well, we can we can probably test it here um, quickly. Let Let's see if I can I can I could share here's airspeed. So I don't know if I can see you. Yeah. Let me uh, let me try to bring it to your. Uh, to your screen there um, and then I know that you are curious and I'm sure that everybody is curious now to see that um, so here's I'm going to share the screen now and then it should be um, where is it yeah yeah here, here it is okay so uh, can you see my screen here now yeah, 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 I see it. Super small. Um, I'm going to turn mine a little bit sideways to try and get a bit of bigger. So now it should have my house. My house. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? It's jumping for me, Kurt. Yeah. So I, I kind of just see it in frames. Yeah, but what, so what, I'll, what I'll do is when you finish it, I'll try and watch it through. I mean, so far I'm, I'm watching it looks good. Yeah. The 19 finishes. Yeah, so that's yeah, all yeah. right. Well, yeah, well, well, it, so I'll, let's I'll do watch let's, it. Let's, Sorry. I'll watch it and see what... It, no, I'll watch yeah. it as soon as I get off here and see. And then there, there will be an easier link today. You know, once I posted it, it will be easier to access it um, on the NSR website. But at least it's already out there. So, you, you yeah, know... Yeah, perfect. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, <laughs> thank you for taking the time there, Schmidt. You're, <laughs> you're very welcome. I, I wish I could nice... say I could, I could go and take a cold shower and uh, cool yeah. down here, but it, it, it doesn't help because five minutes later, you're as hot. Well, get some ice cream and cold beer. They have that in Austria, both. I'm sure. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip you back. The Brazilian uh, ladies and accuracy. Accuracy. Well, you're yeah. too far away. I wish we would be right at the at the top. I, I could. I could run down there, but it's gonna be too far. It's gonna take yeah, take too, too long. Far. Yeah. No, and it's hot. So no, that that's all right. 
um, we'll we'll do that in another time. Go go and get go and cool down and enjoy the rest of the day, and then we'll talk as soon as possible again. You will still be for for a week because it's slow, right? As you say. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's nearly finished. I mean, the accuracy is coming to an end, and that's the slow one. They they finished okay. it before the formation. Formation skydiving and SISM, you, you kind of a back burner. Although there, there are about 17 or 18 nations that are doing it. We're missing, of course, the whole Russia, Ukraine teams. China is not here, which is a very, very strong nation. No due to I, don't, I didn't COVID. see the US team. No, no US team, which is, adds to the, the formation skydiving side of it. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think with the Golden Knights out there, there's no US team, unfortunately. Um. But yeah, so they're missing they're missing a couple of teams. I think Chile also pulled out at the last moment due to I think it was COVID. Uh, I don't want to uh, jump the gun, but so they're missing some nations. Yeah, unfortunately, with the whole uh, Russian thing, COVID thing has has created a bit of a a mess. So, well, we'll see. Interesting it is anyway. And thank you again very much, Gary. Uh, you're very welcome, Kurt. I'm Good happy talks. we could speak. I'm happy we got internet. Yeah, all right. Yeah. What a nice surprise. Yeah. All right, okay, have man. Have a great day. Well, yeah, have, yeah, you too. Have a good day. Enjoy Florida. Bye.